So what is going on everybody? My name is Meho and welcome to your 13th Angular tutorial, I guess. And in this tutorial, what we're going to take a look is uh, at uh, one-way data binding again. But from this time, from the view to the script. So in the last tutorial, we took a look at how we can do one-way data binding from um, the script to the view. And I actually forgot to tell you one last thing in that, and that is instead of making use of these square notations, what else you can do is make use of this bind value thing. So this bind and then this attribute, this square attribute, both means the same things, right? So it doesn't matter. Similarly, with uh, for this uh, one way binding for view to the script what we need is some sort of user interactivity obviously because that's how the view would send some data to the script like a user interacted with this button or user entered some text into this input field and all that stuff so to do that what we're going to make use of is these curly brackets or just uh, not really curly they are circular brackets right so inside this we would write our event name so let's just say this is key down and uh, for this this curly bracket uh, the circular bracket rather actually tells angular that we want you to handle this attribute or rather this event and uh, right here let's just say we just say our my function anything like that uh, we can just call it right so we just go back to our component and we define my function and uh, we can pretty much say console log this was fired right and we can just take a look in the browser console and if i write something you can see our event successfully fires every time we write something so this fires on the key down and again if you are not comfortable with these brackets what you can do is instead of writing these brackets you can say on target now remember for the echoing out of value or rather showing the value we were making use of bind but for this uh, event handling for the events or rather one-way data binding when we are sending data back to the script we want to make use of this on keyword right here right so if you save this and take a look again it's one and the same thing now angular actually gives you an event here as well so that you can just access what just happened so if you take a look at this event and we can pretty much just log this what we are getting and take a look in the browser and if i enter some key you see that we get this keyword keyboard event and accordingly we can just decide which keys were pressed like uh, it says me false for control key so if i press control and uh, press some other key so you know you could just pretty much create some combinations in here with this function and take accordingly and take the actions accordingly right so let's just say if you want to maybe like uh, i don't know that's not really the best way to explain this but uh, let's just say if we have uh, something like uh, my custom string in here string and it's just set to blank for now and we can just get rid of all these other things i don't know why do we have that right and what we can say is my custom string is uh, i don't know let's just say event dot target dot value let's just say we are just appending whatever the user is typing we do not care if the user deleted it right and we can just say this thing right and uh, we can just display it in the browser then and uh, yep so let's just say if i write something like one two three four five six seven so you can see that it's becoming jumbled so what we can do is uh, say something like uh, now we can say 
or rather actually it's just echoes out so we're gonna make use of the new line so okay so it's parsing our HTML so we're gonna just see that in source so you can see that we get a new text in every line even if I remove the text right so you can see that pretty much that's how we are able to send data from our view to the script file by one-way data binding and again you can just go with the bracket notation one if you want it's up to you again so that is how pretty much one-way data binding works in angular at least and uh, that's all for this one and in the next one we're going to take a look at how we can do two-way data binding and actually what that would mean rather so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one